On today's episode, we've got the latest updates on Tesla's full self-driving, artificial intelligence, and Dojo supercomputer project. Elon says Tesla will drop their prices, and the next generation of in-car gaming is coming with a Steam integration to Tesla's infotainment system. So, let's get going. We are in the lead up right now to Tesla's second AI day event, which is an industry showcase for the bleeding edge real world artificial intelligence project that drives Tesla's autopilot and FSD beta. And there have been a lot of new developments from the company in the past week, both good news and bad news. So we have Andre Karpathy, the senior director in charge of AI and computer vision at Tesla, announcing that he is leaving the company. This is probably not great news. I don't know, maybe there's someone better coming in to replace him, but that seems very unlikely as Andre is a world leading expert in machine learning and computer vision who came to Tesla with experience from both Google's DeepMind AI project and OpenAI who are the creators of the Dolly 2 image generator that you've seen everywhere on the internet lately. Andre spent over five years with Tesla and his rise to a senior role in the company seemed to coincide with the launch of FSD beta in 2020 and the rapid pace of development and improvement that we've seen in the time since then. Andre became one of the few voices at Tesla, aside from Elon Musk, who was able to speak for the company. We're not exactly sure what happened between Andre and Tesla. There doesn't appear to be any hard feelings. Andre wrote on Twitter, it's been a great pleasure to help Tesla towards its goals over the last five years and a difficult decision to part ways. In that time, Autopilot graduated from lane keeping to city streets and I look forward to seeing the exceptionally strong Autopilot team continue that momentum. It's well known that Andre did take a four month sabbatical break from Tesla this spring, and there was a lot of uncertainty if he would ever return to his full capacity at the company. Most just assumed he needed a little break, which is totally fair, but it turns out there was more going on. I mean, it's entirely possible that the dude is just burnt out after spending two years going hard on the most complex real-world artificial intelligence project in the world. Trying to teach a robot car how to drive in the chaotic mess of city streets and human traffic. Hard to blame the guy for needing an extended reset. Anyway, progress moves on at Tesla. And the new big rumor is that the Dojo supercomputer is the next big step forward that has already come online. Dojo is a bespoke neural net training computer that was entirely developed and built by Tesla's in-house engineering team. This is a supercomputer that exists only to perform auto labeling and machine learning. This was one of the big reveals at Tesla's first AI day in 2021. They demonstrated how Dojo uses multiple systems on a chip connected via massive silicon wafer tiles and then stacks those tiles into cabinets and then interlinks the cabinets to create what Tesla calls a training mat, which is projected to be capable of generating one exaflop of computing power, which would put it within the top three most powerful supercomputers ever created. When we first saw this system last year, the Tesla engineers said it was only just starting to function on the tile level, but a new rumor is going around saying that the Dojo is live and fully functional at a secret data center. This came up in a Twitter Spaces conversation hosted by Tesla Herbert, who is a relatively new source, so it's hard to speak to his reliability for information, but the particular comments on Dojo actually came from Robert Scobell, who is a very well-known and legitimate computer expert. So we can say that this news is probably mostly true. Anyway, Robert said about Dojo, it's already live up in Washington state. I have a friend in the data center where it's being used, it's live. And then continues to say, 
where do you think the 24 gigabytes of data per day from our cars is going? Which is a fair point because we know that the data is not going to human staffers anymore because Tesla laid them all off. In late June, news came out that Tesla had let go of nearly 200 employees on the autopilot team who were responsible for manually labeling the video data that is uploaded to Tesla by the individual vehicles on the road. Basically, your Tesla is always on the lookout for situations that would be useful in training the full self-driving software. So if the car sees something unusual or something of particular interest to the autopilot programmers, it will record a few seconds of video from the exterior cameras and fire that video off to home base. And then someone or something has to go through the video frame by frame and identify everything that the car saw in those few seconds. This task is critically important to progressing the FSD software forward. This is how it's able to learn and adapt to new driving situations. In order for a car to become fully autonomous, it has to be able to handle anything that the real world can throw at it. So it doesn't make sense that Tesla would reduce the amount of labeling capacity they have available at such a critical time when FSD beta is on the verge of going public and Elon is talking about hitting level 4 autonomy next year. So it seems reasonable that one of two things happened here. Either Tesla decided to outsource that work to somewhere in the world with cheaper labor costs like Indonesia or Bangladesh. Or maybe Tesla just shifted that human labor onto their massively powerful supercomputer system. Either way, progress is rolling forward on FSD beta with release version 10.13 just rolling out to users this week. The new update has a heavy focus on unprotected left turns, plus the detection and prediction of animals, pedestrians, and cyclists. Elon said on Twitter that this should be the last major update to version 10 before V11 goes live at the end of next month. Elon said that version 11 won't be a massive step change because most of the improvements have already been rolled into version 10 updates. However, version 11 of FSD beta will be the update that brings the full functionality to highway driving. So far, the beta portion of the software has only been live on city streets. Once the car is on a highway, the software reverts back to standard full self-driving. Bringing the new capabilities of the beta software to the simplicity of a highway environment should allow the car to go fully autonomous with zero need for driver intervention. Elon Musk has said in a Twitter exchange that Tesla will eventually get back to their strategy of reducing vehicle prices, but we have to wait for inflation to cool off before that can happen. So everyone is aware that the global economy is in crisis mode right now. That's no shocker. And that's driven up the cost of pretty much everything imaginable, including cars, especially cars. While the average inflation rate in the US has hung around eight to 9%, the price of a Tesla has increased between 20 and 30% over the past couple of years. For example, the Tesla Model Y long range started at 53,000 in early 2020. And today, the same vehicle starts at 66,000. Brutal. And it's particularly a shame because Tesla's mission has always been to drive down the cost of electric vehicles and accelerate the adoption of sustainable transport. And that's exactly what they were doing before the supply chain exploded. In February 2021, Tesla actually reduced the price of the Model Y and Model 3. The Model 3 standard went as low as $36,990 and the Model Y long range was at $49,990 for a short and beautiful time. But Elon Musk is saying that the price drops will come back if inflation calms down. Now, how likely is that to happen? Well, you've probably heard that we are expecting the worst period of inflation since the early 1980s, and that is absolutely true. 
even the rough patches in the 90s and the 2008 financial collapse didn't cause anywhere near this level of increase to the consumer price index. If we look at the charts from back in the day, we can see that there were two steep peaks of inflation in the late 70s and early 80s. A double whammy effect when the rate spiked to 12% and then receded but spiked a second time to 15% before mostly leveling off for several decades. Now, these increases are very bad for the economy, but we can also see from historical data that they are typically very short-lived. Just look at the chart. A steep upward spike is always followed by an equally steep drop-off that typically takes inflation down to a lower rate than it was at before the spike occurred. Of course, there's no guarantee that will happen again. We may very well be on the verge of an economic collapse that is entirely unprecedented in record history, in which case hang on to your butts, <laughs> or that might not happen, in which case we have cheaper cars to look forward to. Elon Musk has reported that Tesla is making progress with integrating the Steam platform into their infotainment software. He says that a demo is likely coming as soon as next month. If you're a gamer, then you already know exactly what this means. But Steam is essentially an online video game store and distribution platform. You've always been able to play games on Tesla vehicles, but the selection was limited to what the Tesla engineers made available for you. You couldn't just buy whatever games you wanted like you can on an Xbox or an iPhone. With Steam integration, you can theoretically buy any kind of game you want and play it in your Tesla. This is something that we've seen coming ever since the upgraded media hardware in the 2021 Model S and Model X was announced. The new Tesla infotainment system features an AMD Ryzen processor and Navi GPU that provides up to 10 teraflops of processing power, which is on par with a PlayStation 5. This new system is also being rolled out in the latest builds of the Model Y and Model 3. If the future will belong to autonomous vehicles, then stepping up the quality of in-car entertainment is the logical thing to do. This is just one more feature that will put Tesla over the top. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up today if you liked it. That is so important for getting our content out to more people. If you enjoy the content, then you'd probably also enjoy our weekly newsletter. So sign up with the link down below at theteslaspace.com. A huge thank you to all of our Patreon supporters who are listed on the screen now. You help us make the best content we can, and we really appreciate it. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.